All right, guys, here's Professor Rafael Lane of Octagon MMA tomorrow night competing for the 205 pound gi title. Sir, how are you doing today? Doing great. Thank Excellent. you. Excellent. Tomorrow night, taking on George Perez out of Zombie Crew. Yep. Uh, tell, tell us about the matchup. Well, uh, they offered me the, the fight. I, I asked Eric back in the time to be the opportunity to do in the title. Uh, so here I am. I didn't pick anybody that was him who sent the name. So whatever's coming, just a second. Go. How has your uh, training camp been for this? It was good, it was good. I was actually fighting Pen Ams, so not too long ago. So I was ready, feeling my body ready, you know. I'm, I don't wait to 05, but I'm trying to get close. <laughs> I put some weight, you know, so it's good. Uh, for the first time, I don't need to cut weight to fight. So I feel strong, I feel relaxed, I feel happy to do it. So I feel awesome. Uh, tell us a little bit about your jiu jitsu journey. How'd you get started? Man, I started Jiu Jitsu, that's a long story. <laughs> I started okay. in 1995, right? So you see Royce Grace uh, doing the, the MMA, you know, the, the cage fight in, back in June 9, 1993. So I was watching a VHS tape with my friends and just get excited about it. So I started in 1995 and then I never stopped anymore. So that's, that's what got me in BJJ, you know, learn how to defend myself, you know, all those kind of things. What has Jiu Jitsu meant to you personally for, for your life? Man, I always, I always been doing sports my whole life, you know. I start judo with a four, for example, you know. I try karate a little bit, you know, before I moved to jiu-jitsu. So I moved to jiu-jitsu with nine years old. So I've been doing jiu-jitsu my whole life. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how to say when jiu-jitsu cat me, because jiu-jitsu is my life, you know. So since I'm nine years old, I've been doing jiu-jitsu, and I never stop, you know. With 15, 14, I had the dream to be a world champion in the blue belt. And then I did, so this got me even more, you know, you, that, that feeling inside you, man, that's what I want for my life. So I get passionate and I never stop anymore. So training out of Octagon MMA, uh, what has your training like been there? I mean, lo lots of partners, people for you to roll with and push you? Yeah, Octagon MMA is a great gym. Before I moved from Brazil, the Octagon MMA was already in Dallas since 2008. So I moved here in 2017. So then I started the program, then I started to head coach in there. My, my prof, old professor, Otavio Couto, who's now in Italy, in Europe, he used to coach in there. So that's why I ended up in Octagon MMA in 2017. And now I'm the coach in there. And man, there's a lot of black belts there. The level is like, you know, really high. So I feel comfortable, I feel confident for any situation or competition I need to go. I have trained a lot, a lot of good training there, training partners, you know, good students who also commit with me to be in training hard. So. I feel confident. Now, be, being a head coach and also a competitor, do you get more joy out of seeing your student win or are yourself going up? That is a that good time? question because when you're a competitor, you're a little selfish, right? right? You just think about yourself and be leading a, a big gym like Octagon uh, is a challenge, right? And keep fighting and doing the same, the, the head coaching part. It is really hard, but I have good people around me. They also give me some good support. We have a lot of black belts there who's always on my side, you know, so. It's not that hard as looks, but of course, I, I cannot be that selfish I was, I was before as a competitor, you know. I gotta share the attention, you know, but, but it's fun. Is there anybody you'd like to thank? Sorry? Anybody? Oh, for sure. That's, I, mean, I have a list, <laughs> you know. There's a lot of people, I got, we, we, we never get far, you know, alone, you know. Uh, so I have a lot of people I would like to thank, you know. Greg is a, is a great guy, he's the guy who found Octagon, you know. My professor, Vinicius Campillo, and Otavio Couto, who's always with me, my friends, you know. My, my students who's always on my side, giving me all the support. Without my students, I cannot be here. Because who's gonna teach when I'm fighting, you know what I mean? Right. So, and who's gonna show up to be a good training partner so I can get ready for my fight. So, also my sponsor, uh, Coral Fight CEO from Brazil. So, best brand in the market. <laughs> so they always give me a good support as well. So, that's Excellent, it. Professor. Well, thank you so much for taking your time to speak yep. to me today. I look forward to seeing you compete tomorrow night. Okay. Thank you very much.